How's it going? Welcome back to the Reaper blog. Today I just have a quick video about White Tie's new theme, um, which is he's calling Default 7 the anti theme, where everything is just super neutral. Basically, every theme element has the same sort of visual style, which is not his usual approach to doing a Reaper theme. And uh, I find it interesting because it still works. And I think this is a theme style that people have been wanting from the start, basically, where everything kind of just looks the same. And of course, it still works with colored tracks. This is default seven. And um, you can see here in the transport bar that there are some sort of different colors. So there's, um, there's these sort of flattish buttons. This play button sort of has like a highlight. It's not flat. And when you, when you press on it, it's sort of this, this uh, flat style. There's no shading or anything like that. Now this new theme is called, uh, once you install it, you can just download from the, the forum and drag and drop into Reaper and it will install or double click. So default seven, the anti theme, no new images are downloaded or anything like that. This is all built into Reaper. So it should just work. There's just this super flat gray visual style, sort of a dark theme. I am on Mac, so everything else is kind of dark as well. Some of that will kind of carry over on Windows, but it, it will look different. But in general, everything is dark and um, every button has the same sort of visual style. Nothing is like a Chrome version and a flat version, but it's still Reaper 7. So it's still going to behave exactly the same as every other theme. But yeah, it's a different starting point made by the Reaper devs. I've got this project set up with the three different layouts. So here's A, B, and C layouts for the track control panel. And in the mixer panel, we've got layouts A, B, and C. And when we record arm, that's what that looks like. Oh, the red color is from a, a extension, but you can see that behavior wise, it's very similar. Like the, uh, the meters only show up when track is record enabled on playback. Uh, layout C has the meter markings, but uh, A and B do not unless they're record armed. So sort of the same behavior as default. Um, the transport buttons are all the same sort of visual style. It's an interesting, simple theme that I think does work really well. I got the impression that uh, White Tie doesn't like this theme uh, or doesn't like this approach to making a theme, but he's already fixed bugs a couple times in it. He is actively working on this as well as default seven with the theme adjuster and all that. Um, so that theme adjuster, well, not officially supported, will actually tweak this version as well. And um, anything you do in the theme, theme tweaker window, uh, will work here as well. And if you make any changes, remember to just hit save on here and, and save this as your own version. So that's it. I'll have a link in the description to where you can get that. Hopefully this is interesting, useful. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. Um, I've been using this the last couple of days and I actually like it. I, I got some work done, which is the main thing. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. See you later.